Hey everyone and welcome to Living in Ottawa and in this week's episode we're going to cover the city of Pembroke. This beautiful and historic town has a lot to offer the relocating family. But first, showreel, hit it! Welcome to the heart of Ottawa Valley, also known as the City of Pembroke. Located about an hour and a half north of Ottawa, this beautiful and historic town is situated where the Muskrat River joins the Ottawa River. And the first European settlers came to what is now Pembroke in the early 1820s. Drawn by the area's vast lumber resources and the confluence of the rivers which made transporting their goods easy. And the town grew quickly and by 1858 it was an official Canadian city. Although much of the downtown was destroyed during a terrible fire in 1918, some of the older structures still stand. And visitors and newcomers alike can learn about the city's history at the Champlain Trail Museum in Pioneer Village or by checking out a dozen of the Pembroke Heritage murals that pepper the downtown buildings. You can also feel like you've jumped back in time by taking in a show at the Skyline Drive-In Theatre. While the local economy has diversified over the past decades, Forestry and farming are still important parts of life for many people living in the Ottawa Valley. And because the city sits close to the Algonquin Provincial Park, the Pembroke branch of the Algonquin College offers several unique courses geared towards careers in the great outdoors. Folks from Pembroke don't just work outside, they also enjoy spending their leisure time outdoors as well, especially along the waterfront area, home to many walking trails and local parks. Let's go take a trip around this beautiful historic town. I know you're going to fall just in love with it. Downtown area is a thrumming heart of many small cities, which is undoubtedly true when it comes to Pembroke. A stroll through the downtown area, either on your own or with a guided walking tour, will have you feeling like you've stepped back in time to the heyday of the area's lumber barons. Several magnificent homes from turn of the century still line the streets of downtown, such as the Arana Dunlop residence built in 1880 or the old Rowan Stone House built in 1850 as a housing for sawmill workers. And don't forget spots like the Victoria Hall, Pembroke's original town hall, and the first municipal building in all of Canada to get electricity. First of Pembroke's iconic heritage murals appeared downtown in 1990 and since then over 30 more have come to grace the local buildings. Depicting scenes from Samuel de Champlain's visit to the area in 1613 through to the town's years as a hub of forestry and farming to more modern events. The murals are scattered all over downtown area and are hard to miss. However, suppose you are interested in more than just a casual look at them. In that case, the annual Pembroke Visitor Guidebook features a current list of murals as well as a free audio download that you can listen to as you stroll around downtown.
For those folks seeking higher education, Pembroke is home to the branch of Algonquin College. The beautiful waterfront campus offers some traditional courses, but the main focus is on environmental sciences and classes that would be hard to teach in an urban environment. Students at Pembroke's campus can earn degrees in urban forestry, outdoor adventure, or become a certified environmental or forestry technician. And Pembroke campus is also home to Algonquin College's varsity logger sport team. What is logger sport? It is precisely as it sounds. Lumberjacking or jilling as a team competition. Students from the forestry technician program compete against other schools in chainsawing, log decking, snowshoeing and axe throwing. College campus isn't the only important Pembroke landmark located on the banks of the Ottawa River. Thanks to donations from the city and private donors, Pembroke's waterfront area has become one of the town's crowning jewels. Along groomed trails and boardwalks between waterfront and riverside parks, you can find picnic areas, pavilions, children's plays areas, a splash pad, and even space for camping. During the summer months, the Riverside Amphitheater hosts local musicians and movie showings almost every night. A short way up the river, you can find the 18 Holes Pembroke Golf Club. This par 71 championship course is located directly on the banks of the Ottawa River and is a great place to unwind and enjoy the fresh Canadian air. If you're looking for some vintage fun, you have to check out the Skyline Drive-In Theater. Located on Forest Lee Road, Skyline will have you feeling nostalgic for a simpler time. So bring the whole family and watch one or two movies showing nightly from June to October. The theater broadcasts movies over FM radio, so it's a good idea to bring a portable radio and some money for the snacks at the concession stand. This event is very popular, so be a good idea to purchase your tickets online before the show. There you guys have it, the beautiful and historic city of Pembroke. Great for the relocating family. Speaking of relocating, if you're thinking about making a move, feel free to reach out to us. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, even wrap it up in a bow and send it first class because we got your back. We're moving to Ottawa, we're moving to Pembroke, or anywhere across Canada. And each and every week, we're bringing brand new videos just like this one. So make sure to tap that subscribe button and click the bell so you're notified each and every time we do a brand new video. Till next time, take care. The downtown area is the throwing heart for many small cities and trailers. So there you guys have it, the beautiful city of Pembroke. Now outside in the village, you can stroll through a schoolhouse. That is one loud truck. Several magnificent homes from turn of the century still line the streets today and are being attacked by a wasp.